How's it going, young readers and future leaders of McDuffie County? Mr. Eric here again on another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. Today is Tuesday, September the 3rd, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I hope that you tried your very best. I hope that you made somebody smile today, and I hope that at the end of the day, you were proud of the work that you did. Today, we're going to read another book from Rob Scotton, another Splat the Cat, but this time it's going to be Splat Says Thank You. And we'll find out what Splat gets himself into and what he learns today. Splat was worried that Seymour hadn't smiled all day. He was covered in spots and he wasn't feeling well. This isn't right, thought Splat. How can I make Seymour smile? Splat pulled a book from the drawer and showed it to Seymour. I made it for you, Splat said. I call it the Friendship Book. Splat opened the book, and it began quite simply. It said, for Seymour, the best mouse I know. Seymour sneezed. Splat turned the page and began to read aloud. When I was scared to try out for the school play, you encouraged me to do it anyway, said Splat. Thank you. And when Miss Wimple Dimple gave me the lead role, I couldn't have learned my lines without you. Thank you, Splat continued. And when I laughed so hard at Plank that I forgot my lines. You helped me to remember them. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he was just about to smile. But instead he, uh, uh, achoo, he sneezed. So Splat read on. When I broke my mom's favorite ornament, you fixed it for me, said Splat. Except somehow mom noticed and I had to have a bath and go to bed early anyway. But thank you. And when I had my bath and my toe got stuck, you knew what to do. Thank you. And when I went to bed early, you sneaked a flashlight so I could read my book, said Splat. Thank you. When I overslept the next morning, you woke me up so I wasn't late for school, said Splat. Thank you. When I borrowed my brother's kite and we played for hours, you made it so much fun. Thank you, said Splat. Then when I climbed a tree to rescue my brother's kite and got stuck, you rescued me, said Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he had to smile this time, but instead he <coughs> hiccuped. So Splat read on. When I pretended I was speeding through space in my rocket ship, about to be the first cat to the moon, and Spike passed me in a faster rocket ship and tried to become the first cat on the moon instead, you told me that space cats never give up. So I didn't, continued Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that Seymour was sure about to smile this time. But Seymour scratched a tickly ear instead. 
So splat red on some more. When I told you my biggest secret, you didn't tell anyone. Thank you. And when Spike gave a kitten a bigger Valentine card than the one I gave her, you knew how to make me feel better. Thank you. And when little sis was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made her smile, said Splat. Thank you. And when I was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made me smile. Thank you. You are my smallest friend and my biggest, he added. And for that, I want to say thank you. The end. Splat says thank you in a very important book, guys, about how crucial, how important, how special it is to let our friends, our family, our teachers know when we appreciate something and how to say thank you. When we recognize that somebody does something nice for us, it is so important to let that person know. Well, guys, I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. Rest up. Come back and see us again on Wednesday. And until that time, I'll see you in the hallways.